welcome to the Kit Show. My name is Oliver Eaton. And my name is Carl Eaton. Let's get to this week's Kit Roundup. Go to start with Liverpool, and they've released their new third kit. And um, we've got a combination of a bit of black, a bit yeah. of silvery white, and then a bit of turquoise. Um, out of the three, I think it's my least favourite. Yeah. Um, it still looks all right though with a pattern, and the sponsor does fit in really nicely with a black, of course. So I'm going to start this off with a 78%. Yeah, uh, I like the turquoise. I think it would have yes. been better if it was the Liverpool bright orangey uh, red colour. Yeah, you know what I mean. yeah. Uh, but it does look smart, actually, overall. Uh, the pattern's not too bad. Um, yeah. Because of that, I'm going to give the score a 72, taking us to their rivals, Everton. And they've got this thing out, uh, Salmon Kit. Salmon. <laughs> Again, it's pinky orange. It's... Um, it, yeah. It's a colour watch shouldn't really be on football kits, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, yeah, it's not bad. Just a, it's neat, isn't it? Yeah, it's neat. Just sort of like wrong colour choices with this. So 69% for this one. Listen, I would have given it a lot lower score, but because the sponsor uh, fits in uh, and it's got the two-tone colour palette, which I yeah. do like, and even it's even got this stripe sin. Uh, I think it's actually quite neat overall, yeah, and because I'm going to give it a 60, uh, so it's just a bit, just a bit above. Yeah. Brings us on to Derby County, and they've got uh, their third kit, which is literally their home kit, but inverted colours. And I think we both made the agreement that yeah. this is probably nice in their home kit yeah, in terms yeah. of the colour choice. Uh, for me, I like how the white of the RAM of the logo just contrasts a lot better against the black background yeah, on this yeah. one. Um, sponsor could be a tad bit lower, but I think overall it's a beautiful kit. Yeah, sponsor does. Uh, look how bold the sponsor looks on the kit and the pattern. I do really prefer this than their home kit. So 91% for this one. Yeah, I think the collar looks a lot better yeah, as well on this one. Very good job from Umbro again. 94% wow. from me. Brings us on to Reading. They're the last team to release their home kit. and. Um, we've got the funny macron penis shaped collar again, yeah. uh, this time it's a white penis. Yeah. Uh, but it's a bit different actually, because uh, Redden did have some horrible kits for when Puma were around. Yeah. Um, a lot better this actually, I love the detail in the stripes, the hoops, should we say, and I think Sponsor fits in pretty well as well inside that little white box. Yeah, I think it would look, look a lot better if it didn't have a sponsor with our Save Our Show campaign. But it is a nice, it's a nice pound kit, so 79% for me. Yeah, I like the tad of red, uh, and we both agreed on that, 79%. Yeah. That brings us onto their away kit. I really like this design. Um, it's got bits of their logo uh, mishmashed into the hoop design, and I think the colour choices are really good here as well. We've got the red and the black theme with the grey. Uh, only moment for me, the sponsor could have maybe been red yeah. as well, but equally, the sponsor's nice and neat, it fits in well. And I do yeah. like the creativity on this kit. Yeah, it's good. I'm give it an 89. Yeah, I do like, the, of course, the crowns with represent the Royals. And yeah, it's a nice kit. Uh, 89 as well for me. Yeah, both agreed completely yeah. across the board for them. Millwall, they continue their Husky Chocolate sponsor uh, this year. And this is their way kit. I do like yellow kits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I like kits with two tone colour palettes. And this one is yellow and black, or black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Yeah, I do actually like this one. It's a really nice kit. I do like the. Sponsor fits in nicely, and I actually like, like the logo for a change. It's a really nice color. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's a nice kit. Uh, uh, I'd give it eighty-three percent for me. Still yeah, high. I really do like. I love the hidden stripes there. It's very Bournemouthy actually in the way they did it with the diagonal stripes. Uh, it's in the house on Bournemouth. Yeah. I really like this. The sponsor fits in really well. And it's probably one of my favourite sponsor designs so far. Uh, at least on this episode, yeah. Um, I think I think fits well. Macron have done a good job with this, as the home kit were beautiful as well. Ninety-two from me, good kit from Millwall. Brings us down a notch to Portsmouth, and we've moaned about this uh, template from yeah. Nike already this season. I know uh, Preston had this. It's very late noughties kind of design. Yeah, think yeah. of the Bolton Wanderers. Um, I, I'm not a fan of this. I don't like this splashes of red. Uh, and it's a, it's a shame because their away kit, uh, third kit, that purple one, were beautiful, but it's going to be a forty-seven percent. Yeah. I'm just don't. I'm not a fan of this yeah, one I, at all. I agree. The red it just ruins the kit. It should just catch like at least 
change it to white or just kept it just plain blue. So 40% for me. Oxygen United, they've got a slash or a sash down. Um, I think the colour choices are wonderful on this one. I love how they've yeah. changed the Oxford logo to the white and blue so it stands out. I think the sponsor, Oxford Kits, it always is a big sponsor, yeah, but it yeah. does fit in really good. Yeah. Um, I, I am a quite a big fan of this. I love the Oxford colours. I'm going to give it an 89 because I don't think there's much complaints and nothing wrong really with this kit. Yeah, I think it fits in well. I do like the striped in the middle. Uh, Everything fits in well, 89% as well for me. Does everything fit in well? Pretty much, yeah. Newport County have adopted the Save Our Shirt campaign, sponsored by or unsponsored by Bannett Bauer. Uh, and this is quite a very good design, actually. Um, one of those out there designs, uh, and I quite like it. I love the colour choices of the Newport County uh, kit as well. And I do love the little triangles here as well. Yeah, yeah. I would give it a 90 because I think it's a pretty good kit, but. Maybe if I had a sponsor, it would have maybe got a bit higher. Sometimes sponsor does yeah, make yeah. it. Yeah, it just looks a tiny bit empty down without a sponsor. Apart from that, I do like the pattern on it. So 86% for me. They wake it. Um, it. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, we've got the splashes of black and grey. For me, I've ranked it a bit lower than my last one because it seems a bit too much on the eyes. It seems yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on there, but I think it's very neat and very well done. I think the collar's pretty good. 79% from me. I think it's a not bad effort though. Yeah, I think it would be a bit better if I had a different pattern for the sleeves. Yes, like a yeah. black or whatever. Apart from that, it just looks a bit messy, so 76% for me. Shout out to the goalkeeper kit though, that looks really nice. Yeah. South End United are another team what's adopted the Save Our Shirt campaign, unsponsored by Paddy Power, uh, and also they've taken up the Nike template kit, and it, it does look like a training top, and it is a yeah, shame. It is. Um, it, it's it's ripping off fans really because yeah, you can just buy yeah. Sports Direct. Thirty percent from me because I mean that ain't a kit. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it is crap. Yeah, it should have just gone with a sponsor, shouldn't it? Does looks really. You had uh, prostate cancer as well, and the drop that for Paddy Power. Yeah, yeah. so 41% really for me. Yeah, it's quite poor. Uh, going European now, PSG. Uh, they've released this kit. Uh, I see it's the my uh, the basketball guy. I forgot his name, Jordan something. Um, Michael Jordan, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's gone on. It's yeah, one of their designs job. there by Adidas. And are we using. Uh, is it a dark orange or. Uh, I, I I can't really tell, uh, but yeah. it's got the two tone palette which I do like. Um, I think overall it's not bad, is it? It's not yeah, too it's out there. Um, Sponsor for me overpowers the kit and does detract from the score. Eighty one percent then from me. Strong score still. I feel it looks really smart actually with this kit and the sponsor. Yeah, it does look alright. I do like the color choices, so I'm gonna give this a eighty for me. <laughs> Juventus, they, uh, they've they recovered a bit from their disastrous home kit. Uh, they've got plain white top with a cam camo kind of pattern with a very light grey there. Uh, they've also used the pink slash red for their graphics and I think it actually all together looks pretty good. I'm going to give it an 80. I think it it, it's a, it looks good quality, actually. Yeah, it looks good. Just looks a tiny bit plain with a white, probably with a white shirt. So I'm just going to give it a 60... 1% for me for this kit. Yeah. Moving on to Monaco, and this is a beauty. Uh, Kappa design. Uh, we I like the Monaco design, what we like a secret packet anyway, but uh, yeah. this one's still got the diamond pattern going on, and it's black and gold, and I think it is very good gold. It, it is the proper gold. The one more shines pretty well, and I think it's using that two tone palette as I've mentioned a thousand yeah. hundred times. Uh, the sponsor fits in well. I even, for once, and it's very rare. I like. Uh, it's very rare that I like the Kappa logos, but on this one, I actually mm. do like them on the side. I think it fits in well, and because of that, I'm going to give it a very strong. Cause there's not much complaints. Ninety-five percent from me. Yeah. Love that design, and I love black and gold yeah. as a combination. Yeah, it's a nice kit, but I, I just don't have the Kappa logos on the side for me. It just makes it like a bit messy. So. I had to just give us uh, 88, 88% for me. And there you go, we got through that one quite yeah. quick. Uh, let's go to our top five kits where, 
Sorry to ruin it, but there's been no change. Here's our top five kids. Yes, uh, it's no changes. Arsenal continue in fifth. Yeah, fourth is Brighton's home. Uh, Leicester and Marseille take third. Marseille's beautiful home kit in second. Norwich will take some beating in third. There we go. Uh, we've got many more kits yeah. to come on Tuesday's episode, including Newcastle away and also the disastrous. What colour is it? Uh, pink and, and silver. Yeah. Whatever Celtic goes. kit. <laughs> Find out the fallout for that. Uh, make sure you comment down your favourite kit. And thanks for watching the kit show this Saturday. Goodbye. Bye. Thank mm-hmm. you.